Hi, this is Superboo3. Uh, today we are going to fight the Ender Dragon. I would advise you to turn off the autosave feature at this point. Load up your, uh, save the game and load up your world in peaceful mode. Um, you want to have a weapon, uh, some armor, and a decent amount of stone um, because we're going to have to do some building to fight the Ender Dragon. Now, another important thing to remember is that sometimes I had this problem personally some people said you can actually kill the dragon in peaceful mode now when I tried this the first time I fought him I couldn't so what me and my friend did was we entered the portal in peaceful mode did all the setup for the boss fight to get past the first stage and then saved the game then re-entered and fought him on uh, easy mode and it, it wasn't too difficult a fight um, I've made a few adjustments to the previous video and added some notes to the video description just in case people are struggling to find items to trade to give the um, the villagers for emeralds and such that is um, makes it, it makes things a lot easier because you can just actually grab all of the resources from the castle and then just start trading those to get a lot more emeralds it will save it should save you some time um, Anyway, uh, I've got everything I need, and I'm just going to jump straight into the portal now. Okay, this is the end. Um, I'm not sure if this will... I, I assume this will appear the same for everyone. Um, we're going to need to climb to the top of this mountain. Oh yeah, he's just up here. Okay, now first up, you see these big pillars. We need to destroy the items on top of them because otherwise he will respawn health infinitely. Now the dragon spawned but we can't fight him yet so you're gonna use the old climbing trick of jumping and building underneath you to get to the top. Remember this is on peaceful mode so we can't actually get hurt. I'm gonna use my diamond pickaxe to destroy things. Um, I'm Okay, I was mistaken. The ender dragon does enough damage to potentially kill you here so be a bit more cautious than me um, and be careful when jumping off like that okay here we go again build really fast if you just keep moving he can't really hit you uh, I'm actually gonna mine my way down because I think that's safer um, I think I'm probably enough to jump off now. Yep, there we go. Let's go to the next one. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pillars that we need to do. So we've done two so far. I'll skip the video ahead a bit now. Okay, I've just discovered it looks like he can smash through cobblestone. So I'm going to see if I can grab some of this end stone here. And hopefully he can't smash that. Um, if I can build a roof over my head with endstone, then I've got a place where I can hide and regenerate health. Uh, well, anyway, that at least is the plan. I've already taken out the eight crystals at the top of those towers. So he will no longer regenerate his health. But, like I said, I did have issues with him previously in terms of in terms of damaging him when I was playing on peaceful mode. So I'm just going to see if that's the ca if I'm unlucky and that happens again or if we can actually defeat him on peaceful. Okay, I've got 64 blocks. That's more than enough to build um a ha a well, a roof and a base of sorts. So I'm going to use this stone in the middle to be a pillar for me and it doesn't look like he can break these bricks okay that's probably big enough to hide from him so I'm just going to use this
Okay, see, so here I am, and I'm actually damaging him. So you can beat him on peaceful mode. Um, I made a little hole um, in my roof, but I'm just standing on this ledge here, and that's giving me just enough height to hit him. Uh, my sword has got shot. Is a diamond sword with sharpness four. You don't need to worry as I'm managing to do this on peaceful this time. Um, so it's pretty easy. Just keep jumping and hitting him like this. I do apologise if people dislike the fact that I'm, you know, using a relatively cheap method to beat him. Um, but these, tr the the point of my videos. Well, the point of these videos is to show just how easy it is to get the platinum. I mean, to be honest, when I was fighting him, I was—I I remember doing this on easy. Um, I was super lucky anyway because he got caught on the scenery and I managed to just hit him a bunch. I just stepped out there to lure him back in and now it's very easy to just get <laughs> the hit on him when he decides to perch out there so this seems to be the method, just kind of stand out here and then when he comes down to perch on the rock in the middle And there he's landing again. And we can just finish him off this time. You could, if you're doing it on this difficult, you could you wouldn't even need a diamond sword. And there he is, defeated. Extremely easy boss fight if you're using peaceful mode. If you're playing on easy, um, obviously you'll need to run around quite a bit. I mean, it's definitely, like I said, I've, I've done it on easy, it's very doable. Um, he's dropped an item in the middle there. So to get the final trophy, I think you get after you just jump through this. And then here you get, like, an ending note. Uh, just leave the text rolling till the trophy pops, because um, I'm not really a big fan of skipping these endings because sometimes you end up glitching the trophy or something you only have to see this text once now if you uh, assuming you didn't use creative mode um, obviously the trophy pops there um, if you're if you're playing with friends and you want to boost them um, you can actually just let them walk into your ender portal and just jump straight through the end portal here and that should pop the trophy I haven't done that method myself but I've been told that that does work um, by many players anyway um, I will do a short tut a few short tutorials possibly to um, just show how to start up in survival mode um, and just hopefully that can help people who are struggling um, with actually playing the game in survival mode and help them get used to it because I, I know some people are a bit hesitant to jump into survival when they can just play in creative all the time um, but you do need to play in survival mode if you do want the trophies uh, my trophy videos do I, I think anyone can follow my trophy videos to actually get the well I haven't I don't think I've covered every single trophy but the majority of the trophies in the game are covered in my tutorials and I think anyone can do them because I'm not particularly good at Minecraft myself um, but after you play around a bit it only just seems a bit overwhelming at the beginning especially with how creepers can destroy everything that you create as well Uh, I'll just leave the ending text scrolling here just so everyone can, anyone who actually wants to just see that can uh, for whatever reason. If there's any other videos you do want, please um, leave some comments to let me know what types of videos you want.
I'm doing other playthroughs of other games and videos for other trophies so you know I'll, I'll you probably would have seen my guide up on a couple of sites if you I'll probably be adding other ones that I can to um, those sites too but I'm just not sure what games to really be doing I guess if you guys have got any suggestions as to what I should be doing uh, that would be helpful so just to clarify um, I'm going to put I'll put a description as to the two stages of the boss fight the first stage being where you have to destroy the I'm going to call them crystals at the top of the eight pillars um, I use the diamond pickaxe and I'd recommend using a diamond pickaxe um, you can see how to acquire that from again my other videos it's not difficult you can get it very early on it, the reason for that is because there's iron fencing around two of the crystals and having to stand on top of that block for a little while might become a problem because the dragon can still do a decent amount of damage and if he manages to knock you off the top of one of those blocks you will actually die even in peaceful mode also if you do decide to do that boss fight in easy there will be endermen everywhere which will make the boss fight considerably harder this text is unbelievably long I guess I could do a tutorial on fighting the wither but to be honest I don't think I'm good enough at the game to actually beat him um, but there are other kind of things I can show you that are available in the game that are pretty interesting Yeah, this is just a really, really strange story. It does <laughs> make me laugh when I see the kind of weird stories they try to put in certain games. Another one that comes to mind straight away is uh, Hotline Miami, which I thought the secret ending for that game was hilariously weird. But yeah, just... Um, I mean, the thing is, the annoying thing with Minecraft is that there's just so many people who want to um, boost the trophies and not actually play the game, but the games can be extremely fun when you get into it, um, and it's one of those few games you can actually enjoy with the whole family, which I think is good. Um, I mean, the whole reason I've, I'm playing at all is because I was playing with my nephew, um, and he's a huge Minecraft fan. And then when I realised that there's a kind of, there is a pretty big step up in difficulty when you want to try and do some of the end game stuff. I mean, even, I mean, I, I'm i comparing how some of my friends who were, ad, uh, who were adults playing this, um, and obviously had invested quite a lot of time in the kind of things they could build in survival, I was shocked at. Um, but once you've managed to make a sustainable farm, and just have a lot of resources I mean there's a whole bunch of tricks to um, getting all the materials you need to make a decent huge building um, and I think being able to do that in survival in itself kind of is a lot more enjoyable because personally when I first played the game um, when I was introduced to it I was playing in creative mode and I found that was actually pretty dull because anything you wanted you just have and it kind of defeats the the exploration element of the game whereas when you're playing in survival knowing that every trip out is pretty risky and you've always got to 
fight that instinct of should I explore further or should I actually head back to base because I don't want to lose the resources I've got and because of that I, I thought it was um, always extremely you know lame to play in creative mode for that reason I mean creative mode is great if you then want to set up an adventure mode for your friends um, I've been requested to um, do uh, an adventure mode map but that will likely be on my friends channel um, but I could I might add it to this playlist just so you can see it um, again if you're interested leave that in the comments then I know to actually do that but yeah that concludes I th the ender dragon uh, that's most of the trophies any further um, tips for this I will add to the video description so leave comments if I haven't been thorough in terms of describing things in the video and thanks for watching until next time bye